I'm going to start by downloading the Apache Web Service Toolkit and I don't remember exactly where it is so I'm going to go to Google first to find it. So in Google search I'll just enter Apache CFX download. Perfect. The first option is what I want and I'll just use it. Google brought me direct to the download site so all I need to do is to find the right distribution. I'm on Windows so a zip file is probably the best way for me to get the material down. And I also want the binary distribution so I'm going to click on the binary distribution for in the zip format. This shows me a set of options for mirrors. I'm just going to pick the first one. I started the download of the Apache CFX. Now we also need the latest Eclipse JE version so I'm going to go to the eclipse.org website. I do remember the Eclipse uh, URL, so it's www.eclipse.org, so I'll enter it and then go to the site. You need to find the download link on the Eclipse site. It, in the current version it's on the top right, but it could be in different places in different versions of Eclipse. I'll click on the download link. There are multiple versions of Eclipse, multiple configurations of Eclipse. The one we want is the JEE version. Find a version that matches your platform and click on the link for that. In my case I have Windows and I'm going to download the 32-bit version. Eclipse will suggest a mirror site that has the distribution. I'm just going to take the default one and click on it. While Eclipse is downloading I'll go and fetch Tomcat. Off the top of my head I can't remember where Tomcat is either so I'm going to use Google to find the download site. I want to download Tomcat 7 so I'm going to search for it. Although when you're downloading this, maybe there is a later version than that. Great, looks like Google found it. The second option looks like my choice. The download links are towards the bottom of the page. Pick the right distribution for your platform. In my case, I'm going to pick the Windows 32-bit version. There is a very simple in installation of all the three files we downloaded, the Apache CXF, the um, Tomcat and Eclipse. All are just archive files that we can unzip. Now you need some kind of unzipping utility obviously to, to open this uh, archive. I, I happen to use 7-zip if you don't have any other uh, utility then I can recommend that you download 7-zip so it's the numeral 7 and then zip. It's free and you can download it off the net. Uh, if you have whatever other archiving tool, you can use that. And just make sure you unzip all the three archive files. This is what it looks like for me when I unzip the three archive files. I have an Apache Tomcat directory with the version number. I have an Eclipse directory. And I also have an Apache C CXF directory with version number. We'll do a little bit of exploring. I'm opening the Apache Tomcat directory. This is the complete distribution of Tomcat. We don't need that at this point, so I'm just going to go back to the root directory. For completeness, I'll open up the Apache CXF directory also. As with Tomcat, its content is irrelevant for us right now, so I'll go back to the root. And finally, let's go into the Eclipse directory. In the Eclipse directory you'll find the executable for Eclipse. It's called Eclipse and I'll double click on it to start up Eclipse. When Eclipse opens it's going to ask you for a directory where your workspace runs. If you don't know exactly what that means it's basically just a directory that's going to contain all our projects. Enter the name of the directory where you want all your code. And just uh, press OK. This should bring up Eclipse and we're ready to start developing some web services.